Alright you guys, I'm gonna get right into this video because I know that I can talk for 10 years and right now I'm wearing my blue robe and the best part of this blue robe, excuse my hair, is that it's Cookie Monster, so yeah, that's all, that's all I'm gonna say. It's gonna be a very natural look, um, I'm gonna do as minimal coverage as I can and I'm gonna show you guys kind of my updated brow routine. And I'm wearing my robe because I feel like this is just appropriate. I'm going to show you guys how I look like a little bum to looking like I'm alive again. Yeah. I don't know what it is lately, but my skin has been producing so much oil and so much more than usual. I'm already very oily, but it's, it's been out of control. And it gets worse when I wash my face. Like, soap and water wash my face, so... Lately in the mornings, I've just been cleaning it with um, micellar water just so it doesn't like... I feel like it, I, I clean my skin and it gets my oil blends working. I don't know. But that's why I'm using this. I washed my face last night. Um, and I don't know. Just so much oil and I, I can't take it. Nothing helps me anymore. I just zoomed you in a little bit. And I'm going to be spot concealing any little pimples I have. And this is the third video I'm going to be filming this week. So I'm just, I'm all over the place. I have about 150 members of my family coming from New Jersey. So I just want to have videos filmed and edited so that I can just post whenever I can. Um, I'm taking my Master Conceal by Maybelline. This is in 40 medium and I'm just going to dot it on um, any little... Places I think I need it. My skin has been breaking out like crazy lately. And it's because of the new foundation I've been trying. The uh, Bare Minerals Blemish Rescue. It has sal salic, salicylic. It has salicylic acid in it. Um, and it helps reduce pimples and acne and everything. But it's just not... I don't know. If I liked it, then I would keep using it because I know it's clearing my pimples, like bringing them to the surface and then clearing them, but I don't like it enough as a foundation to like go through that. So I'm just trying to clear up what I have going on right now. And then uh, I'm just going to, I don't know. I don't want to put much concealer on my eyelids. I'm going to focus it on like my inner corners where I have a lot of darkness and then my outer corners where I have a little bit of darkness as well. And I'm looking over here into my mirror, by the way. Um, I should just go out like this. And for the most coverage, you probably want to blend that with your finger, especially if you have a pimple, just because it's not going to remove too much product from that area. So I'm going to blend these out as much as I can with my fingers, and then go over with my beauty blender just to buff everything out and make it all seamless. So you can still see the marks I have on my skin or the veins I have under my eyes or whatever. I just like that it evens my skin a little bit and it lessens the redness or whatever I'm trying to cover up. I'm trying to be natural and lately I've been liking really natural coverage. So powder always just is so annoying for me, especially because of how oily my skin can get. And I still haven't found a powder that doesn't make me cakey and gross while still keeping me matte. It's just, it's been a struggle. I'm trying to research things, but I also don't want to try like a hundred and spend a whole bunch of money and then none of them work for me. So it's just, it's a struggle. Uh, right now I'm going to set my under eyes and around my, uh, 
around my nose and cheeks a little bit. Anywhere I get oily, I'm going to press the powder in with my sponge and then I'm going to take a powder brush and very lightly dust the rest of my face just so I have a little bit more skinness in me and it's not super, super like matte. Again, I'm going very lightly. I still want to keep the kind of skin texture. I just want to prevent any oil or anything from coming a little bit later. As much as I can. Is it really a face video without some tea? I don't think so. I just realized that I forgot to prime my face. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm probably going to take this off in a couple hours anyway because I'm not doing anything today. But normally I would go in with a poreless primer, either the NYX one or the Cover FX uh, Pore Minimizing Primer. Any primer that you like would work just to get your skin ready. And if you need something more moisturizing, use that. If you need something that will keep your oil down, use that. It's up to you guys. I'm going to be t using two different kinds of like bronzer contour type products. So, the first one I'm taking is the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. This is in medium deep. And this is a Sonia Kashuk number 30 brush. And it's just the perfect contouring brush to like make strong lines and stuff. And it's super soft. So, I'm going to take a little bit of that. Oh, I almost dropped it, sorry. I'm going to take a little bit of that and go right in my cheekbones. Um, I'm just going to go pretty fast here. And then after I do that, I'm going to go a little bit in my eyes and bronze up anything that I feel needs it. So I'm going to blend out any harsh lines or anything because I want this to be as natural as I can. And I'm going to blend it out with a Morphe M500 brush. It's crooked right now. I guess I left it weird when it was drying. It's supposed to be like a tapered brush, but I can't do anything right, so it's crooked now. And then I'm going to take the Bronze Booster little beads from Positions Formula, and these are... They're not super dark and they're not super glittery when you actually apply them and I like the little bit of glow it gives. So I'm going to blend it out and then apply a little bit of this around the perimeter of my face and then I'm going to put on some blush. You guys can see that it gives a nice bronzy glow but it's nothing like too crazy. And if my contour wasn't so strong, because I messed that up too, um, it would look super natural. So I'm actually going to go blend out a little bit more of that contour with the same powder brush I used before to put my powder on. And then I'm going to apply this Anastasia blush. This is in Pool Party, their little blush trios. And I'm going to put on the color Cash, which is like the peachiest kind of. I noticed that I also have a problem with powders, aside from them not keeping me matte. I feel like a lot of them are not the right undertone, even though they're translucent. Like, I use the Cody Airspun Translucent, and I feel like it still leaves my skin, like, with a pink under... I have a yellow undertone, and it makes my skin look very pink. I don't know if that's just me, but I always feel like it makes me look pink, so I, I have to find another powder that literally, like, doesn't change the color of my skin. But I'm all over the place. Um, for a highlight, I'm going to use something without any glitter or anything in it. This is the Fenty um, Me Money and Hustler Baby. I don't know. Whatever one isn't the glittery one. Like, this one is the one I'm using, but I don't know. Right now, I'm going to remove 
any product that I might have in my eyebrows and I'm going to put on some mascara and then I will come back and show you guys how I do my eyebrows and how I've been doing them lately to make them look nice and full and yeah. I haven't done my brows in a while. They're super messy and they look like they're thinning because so much hair has grown underneath that it looks like there's thin parts but it's just because I haven't cleaned my eyebrows in a very long time and my sister's coming to visit me and I'm gonna make her do it cause she's just good at it and she knows how weird I am with my eyebrows so I know she'll do what I want so just keep that in mind when I zoom you in to look at them like really look at them okay alright so here we are here are my brows I'm gonna brush them up for you but like you guys can tell that like it looks like here I'm missing a bunch of hair but just because of how much has grown in it just looks thinner but anyway um to do my brows lately I've been using the NYX eyebrow marker and it just has a little can you see it's got a really little thin um brush and I draw in each little hair and that's basically it so I'll show you guys how I do that and then will be finished. And I want to either try the MAC one, there's an Ardell one. I really like this type of thing. I like that it looks so natural and you can really draw each hair on. So yeah, let's do that. And then that's, that's it. I know that the brown is lighter than my eyebrows and more chocolatey, but this is the darkest color they have and I wanted to try it out. So now that I know that I actually like something like this, I'm going to get uh, a better color for my eyebrows. So don't judge. And for me, I always have to keep brushing them up because my eyebrows get so long that it just, once I do like two, three strokes, they go down or move around in weird ways. So yeah, I'll do that, I'll wait for it to dry a little bit, and then brush them down and do those. And because I have thicker eyebrows, I don't normally do much else, um, like in here or anything. But if you guys have sparser eyebrows, you can obviously go in with your little pen everywhere and put little hair strokes wherever you need them. But for me, my main concern is the ends of my eyebrows, so that's just what I do. So I've also noticed that once it dries down a little bit, it's not as super like light and chocolatey. It, it like dries down to be a little bit darker. So I don't look crazy, I promise. Um, yeah, I just have on a little bit of mascara and a little lip balm, but that's basically it. I feel like this is good for if you're going back to school. This is my last year of senior year, so I'm almost done. But yeah, it's pretty cute. Let me take this off so I don't look so I don't look like a crazy person anymore. I've been trying new stuff with my hair again. Like not products, just new ways of styling it. So I'm just trying to see what's going on here. I, I don't know. I don't know. But this is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and comment what you guys would like to see from me. If you guys want to see any other looks that I do or any glam looks I do, follow my Instagram because I post everything there. Um, yeah, that's really it. Uh, I love you guys so much. Just be nice and be kind and yeah. Bye.